something to declare for customers? No, no. Cigarettes, alcohol? No, no, we don't drink, we don't smoke. Drink. Drugs, maybe? No, no, no thanks. Okay. It's the joke, no. Thanks. Okay, have a nice trip. <laughs> Thank you, bye. kilometers somewhere around 590 this is a proper foggy day and we didn't see it coming today we have the tickets we buy it now so go on the ferry we come have approximative hour and we reach on Corsica in Bastia the whole camping is for us good morning from Bastia Corsica and we have very nice roads, good quality. I go take a swim. Bye! Oh my god! Whoa! We see the waves! And we put our sticker. Here on the island, two euro per liter. This is the D81 road. And in a few kilometers we arrive to the coast. And that's what we call mountains. Look here. And we are at the Boca di Sorba Pass at 1300 meters. We escaped from that. We are now at uh, D369 road and we have this beautiful view in front of us. We see the sea. Lac de Ospedale. We stop in this amazing view let's take a break at the beach and we are ready to go on the ferry on our way to Cremona we want to go through Chisa Pass now actually here starts the Chisa Pass and we have some really nice curvy road the weather is still good. Now we are in the Zelamse area where the high alpine road, the Grossglockner starts. Wow, look here guys. Here in Overtown, the ski season is not over and we are now in 23 or something like this, April. Hello guys and welcome here on the new channel Transalp Explorers. It comes the time to start officially our new motorbike season and we are going to Corsica. Today we have a long day around 450 kilometers and we have three border crossings. The good thing is that the weather is very beautiful, it's not too cold. We have now at 10 o'clock 11 degrees, that is quite nice. We have sun, we have just a little bit of wind. The roads are good. Our first border crossing, it went smoothly. Nadia. Uh, pe Corsica, teoretic. Okay. Practic mai vedem cum ajungem. Nu-i plănuit nimic concret. It takes a while. 
we have now five minutes since we wait tell me where are you going uh italy maybe corsica if we can cross with the ferry and we come back okay. two weeks around two weeks thank you welcome our goal for today is to reach bosnia in Baja Luka, there we have booked our first accommodation. In rest, we don't have booked anything. We want to take things from day to day. But this is our first night, so we wanted to be sure that everything is fine. We have 450 kilometers from Arad, Romania to Baja Luka in Bosnia. Now we are very close to the border with Serbia and Croatia. In Romania we had done 90 kilometers. And now through Serbia we made around 140 kilometers, yes. Hello. In front of the tier here? Okay. We are at the border and we have three cars in front of us. Everything seems to be okay. Yes, and Italy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Now we go on the other side. On the creation side. Hello. Aștept să mă și îmbrac înapoi. Da. Thank you. Thank you, bye. for customers? No, no. Cigarettes, alcohol? No, no, we don't drink, we don't smoke. Drugs, maybe? No, no, no thanks. Okay. It's the joke, no thanks. Okay, have a nice trip. <laughs> Thank you, bye. The second border crossing was quite okay. I think it was faster than the first one. And now, we have 230 kilometers and we must to find somewhere a gas station to fill up our transal and maybe to eat something or to drink a hot tea and we have another 220 kilometers to our accommodation in bosnia
Hello. Buy the motor. Meet card, please. After 250 kilometers, we stop to steer up our transalp to eat something. And now we figure out that here in Brescia, then doesn't accept Kuna, only Euro, because they entered in Schengen. We thought that maybe one year or two years, they will beat both of them, Kuna and Euro, but not. It's a little bit windy, it wasn't so this morning, but now it's, it's hard, strong wind from the right side and front a bit. Today, Bosnia, and tomorrow, Italy. You have something for police, maybe? What? Like drugs? Ah, no, 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 That was the exit from Croatia. And now we are going over the river to the Bosnian side. <laughs> the Sava River. It's very crowded from the Bosnian side to Croatia. Hello, here. Hello. No, no, today. Uh, no, uh, Baia Luca. Baia Luca, and tomorrow Italy. And then we will see. It was last year in Sarajevo and in Mostar. Now we continue. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Welcome to Bosnia. We stopped to eat a banana. We have 200 kilometers from here to Bosnia. Okay. We are in Bosnia to Banja Luka. Our butt hurts, but it's okay. Let's see. Donuts. Hmm? Donuts. Donuts and something with ham. We have here this last stretch of the road and it's very nice, curvy, good quality, nice scenery. It's interesting. They are working on the road here. A little 
little bit of Bosnian traffic It is one single rule The first one has priority And somewhere here must be our accommodation I guess here We have to unpack our bike to bring our luggage inside in our room and after that to go to eat something here in the area we must to find a place a restaurant or fast food something like this <sighs> Yes, we are here at our accommodation in Banja Luka at apartments Coco and a short reminder we leave Romania this morning at 8 o'clock and after three border crossings we are now here 10 hours later and 450 kilometers long day long day but very nice good weather a little bit windy but very nice roads as well the traffic was great not too much not too less to say so and stay with us because tomorrow morning from here we leave to Venice we have almost 600 kilometers it will be a very long day we have booked now uh, accommodation a bungalow in a camping it was the cheapest that we found in that area yeah. 39 euro we will arrive there already at night so or in the evening somewhere around seven eight o'clock and the next day we want to arrive to Livorno to buy tickets for the ferry but that's a long story good morning guys from the traffic of Banja Luka from Bosnia and we have to do a big day today somewhere around 580 kilometers to Venice, Italy now it's 7 o'clock and we have only 2 degrees our third part of the day it starts with a beautiful road here on this valley on the road R411 very quickly we left the valley and we took a road that takes us somewhere on the top of the hills. Now on this kind of weather when it's very very cold outside, the heated seat or the heated saddle and my heated grips are gold are very very precious now and we entered in an area where we have minus two degrees now everything is frozen around us we can feel it in our bones We are coming for a while on this minus degrees, we have minus 3 degrees from a few kilometers now, but the scenery is so nice, we have this sun that comes out over the clouds, wow. And suddenly the landscape changed into this. Everything green with trees. But down in the valley, in that village, everything frozen. We are passing by a lot of beautiful landscapes and sceneries. But unfortunately we don't have the time to stop and take pictures or fly the drone 
this almost 600 kilometers for today it is a lot now we have two hours since we left our accommodation and we have made around 100 kilometers and the temperature literally is freezing we are coming with zero degrees between minus three degrees two of them yes two which is uh, and we also we want a tea something fruit if you have and a cappuccino we hope to warm up a little bit with this tea and with this hot dog extremely cold outside the last two hours with negative degrees it was very nice this break at the gas station but it's time to hit the road again and discover another beautiful landscapes and roads and we have still 450 kilometers for today that's a lot but the temperature increase to 12 degrees we are going through Bihats it's a very nice small town we were here last year it was a great experience and somewhere around 15 kilometers and we arrived to the border we arrived at the bosnian border with croatia but we have a lot of cars in front of us maybe 15 something like this but it's okay because we stretch a bit our legs thank you And we are officially in Croatia and from now on until we go home in the last day we don't have any border crossing with passport everything is free because it's Schengen so we hope two weeks until we get home everything will be fine in search of food oh yes this schnitzel um, this is what we found here potato some meat mm. that was a really good meal and very cheap under seven euro everything was very good and now we are on the strany tree road it's a very nice curvy and good asphalt road that passes through some hills very interesting area and we also hope that here and the coastline to be a bit more warmer the temperature because now here on the top it's around 10 degrees arrived in Senj 
now down on the coastline and we have our first contact with the sea and this 23 road it's very 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 nice We are very close to Rijeka, we have to make a small detour here in this gulf, in this bay and to find somewhere a gas station to fill up our transal and to rest a bit, maybe we find the tea. How nice looks this center here, this street with these trees, very very interesting. The Yeka is a beautiful city. kilometers a lot but we do it and here is the border Croatia and Slovenia Welcome to Slovenia! And we are stuck. And that was the cause. We are working on the road. And welcome to Italia. Across the border from Slovenia. We are somewhere in Italy, we cross the border and we go to eat something here at this Pecara Italiano Vero. some croissant and strudel with apple. This morning we left Banja Luka from Bosnia at a beautiful sunrise. And now we have only 20 kilometers and we arrive here in Venice, Italy at a beautiful sunset. And this is our camping. Let's see where is the entrance. This is the gate. 
reception park. We arrived here in Hu Venezia camping in town. We had checked in. We had buy the pizza and we go to our cottage. We must find that we have here our map and we have this little path to follow. Let's go. Okay, we arrived here at our beautiful cottage accommodation. Long story short, it was a very long day. Four countries, Bosnia, Croatia, Slovenia, Italy, and almost 600 kilometers, somewhere around 590. And we are very tired. We have 13 hours on the road. It was enough for today. Tomorrow we, want to, tomorrow we want to leave early to go to Livorno, somewhere around 350 kilometers. And get the ferry. To Corsica. If we not can get the ferry tomorrow, then we stay one night somewhere in Livorno. Tomorrow. And that's it. Good morning and welcome back to the new YouTube channel Transalp Explorers. We are on the third day of our tour to Corsica. And this morning we left at 6 o'clock from our accommodation U Venezia camping in town. We have to go to the other side of Italy to Livorno, where we hope to be able to take the ferry to Bastia today. And if we don't arrive on time, then at least we buy tickets for tomorrow. And then we take the ferry tomorrow afternoon. Here comes the train. Da -da -da -da. Italy has many roads like this, with a lot of trees on the side road. It looks very, very nice, and in the summer, offers shade. After 100 kilometers, we take a short break to eat something and after that we hit the road again. We have today to make somewhere around 320 kilometers to Ilibor. We just wave to the highways from above. You won't see us on them. Here we had to go about 10 kilometers on this big road. It's like a highway and it was very strange for us. We don't like these big busy roads. In a very short time we got off it and took it on smaller roads.
way, yes. This is a proper foggy day. And we didn't see it coming today. This foggy, wet weather. We have crossed this pass. And now we are going down. We hope to be better the weather there. And we have around 80 kilometers to Livorno. And we come back in 20. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We have the tickets. We buy it now. So we go on the ferry. It's an interesting feeling because it's the first time to go with so a big ferry. We was only in 2017 with the car in Zakintos, but that was a short ride, only I think an hour or something like that. But with the motorbike, it doesn't. Thank you. And we are in the ferry. It's a great beginning. Mergem până jos la, nu știu, Dex 6, la 6, deci că acolo ar fi mâncare. Să vedem dacă găsim ceva, un cartop prăjit, un ceva. Hello, bon fritz with schnitzel. Thank you. And this is our ferry experience with the food for what we have here 15 euro and we are moving i show you the twin sister or the twin brother i don't know if it's male or female Maximum one hour and we arrive to Corsica in Bastia. We see the mainland. For both ferry tickets we paid 254 euro. 
144 euro from Livorno to Bastia and 110 euro for the return to Livorno. Okay, we are leaving. camping spot for tonight hello for camping with tent one night The whole camping is for us. Immediately, for a whole thing for two. Now it's a little bit over 9 o'clock. We are tired. We made our tent. We ate a bit. Now we go to take a shower and go in tent to rest. It was a very long day. Yes. Somewhere around 330 kilometers, 5 hours on the ferry. And now we are here in Bastia at camping. Camping les Sables Rouges. Yes, we are here and we pay 21 euro for this night. Tomorrow we will go on the other side of the island and we will see what we can find, maybe other campings or some cheap accommodation. Cheap means somewhere around 40, 50 euro per night. We will see. From Bastia, Corsica. Now it's 10 o'clock and we want to leave this place. We are going to Calvi with a small detour on the north part and we have around 180 kilometers to go today. Here it's a little bit windy, I hope you heard me. So let's go. Pizza. 
here are the patisserie, bakery, le boulangerie, and we continue our way. We changed our plan and we are going straight to Calvi to our accommodation because now we saw on the weather forecast that it comes in afternoon, a storm and rain. And this route that we wanted to make, it's around six hours, seven hours and it, it's, too, it's too much. Yes, we start to climb this hill and we have very nice roads, good quality, stunning views above the sea, very nice. The weather is still good, but we have to hurry. Go take a swim! Bye! What a sandstorm!
we try to reach this beach with those big waves. We have here this path, what we have to follow. Oh my god! Whoa, we see the waves! Wow! Wow, that's nice! Wow, that's a very nice beach with some big waves. I think the storm is already on the middle of the sea and we have here some nice waves on the beach. Okay, let's continue. Very nice, thank you very much. Great, great. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. So, we have paid here 126 euro instead of 154 euro that was on booking. In this cottage, the lady said it's for six person, not for two. It's so, big. we have here fridge, we have micro. We have to boil, I think, no? We have, uh, from here we go to Spar and buy food for three days. The nearest Spar was at six kilometers, so we decided to come here to this Super U market. Ceva salam, corizo. Arată fain, și ui, 3, 5, 5 sau 2, 80. 2.80. We returned from the shopping and all you can see here it's 25 euro. That's nice, it's okay. Now we have food for the next three days. Let's eat! So guys, that was for today. We end up the video here. And tomorrow we love, love, love. <laughs> we leave early. Somewhere around 7 o'clock. We have made a small plan. We have somewhere around 230 kilometers in 6 hours to do on the Ruda Gorge and we will make a loop. Can't wait. The weather is still good, a little bit windy. The rain will come this night and... Saturday. And Saturday. Now it's Thursday. On Friday we make this loop and Saturday we will stay and edit and Sunday nice. we leave south to Ayaja, how it's called? Ayajo. Ayajo. Good morning, guys, and welcome back here on the channel on Transalp Explorers. Now we are on Corsica in Calvi. It's day fifth, and we have our breakfast. And after that, we are going on a 200 and a little bit kilometers. We make a loop. Theoretically, it will be a nice day. So we will see. Bon appetit and see us on the road.
and we left the T30 road and now we take the smaller road RT301. a stunning view from here from above very very nice great roads we are climbing fast wow 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 what a landscape here at the right this mountain covered in snow Very interesting here the cows, look how small they are and they are with hair But the wind is also quite strong today Almost like yesterday This is a very remote area Almost nobody here we saw in the last few kilometers only one car Maybe it's too early for the tourists to come here We entered again on the smaller road D84 And we are going through the uh, Ruda Gorges in only a few kilometers they are starting let's eat a donut And this is the stunning village of Kalakucha. What a view! And now we are going up to the high mountains and the temperature drops from 15 degrees to only 9 and we have snow on the side road it's a beautiful nice wooded area with pine forest
we stop here on the side road where it's snow, take some pictures. And now we are still on the D84 road. We are going to Ota. thousand ten fifty hundred meters and we put our sticker and we are going down from one thousand and five hundred meters the road is still covered in snow on the side road we have only five degrees it's quite cold What a view, what a view. Let's eat our banana. Two bananas. <laughs> With this view, amazing. a small detour on the D124 road and we go down to the bottom of the canyon it's a very narrow and steep road but it's quite okay along the coast road the D81 it's phenomenal what a view from here to the sea wow just amazing no way no way what a view
my goodness. Wow. That can we call it waves. Yes. I think they are a few meters. Wow. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We stopped here a few minutes in this park place. It's called Strada di Isensi. And we put again our stickers, both of them, Transalp Explorers and Spermitographer. We are motorcyclists and we like twisty roads, but it's already too much for today. We have done 230 kilometers so far and we still have another 30 kilometers to go. This D81B road is not very good either, it's a bit bumpy and being the end of the day that's enough for us. And we drove the last 60 kilometers maybe only in the second and the third gear a bit. But the scenery is beautiful, it's worth it. That was guys for today. We are back to our accommodation here in Calvi. It was a long day. Very we good. left this place at 8 o'clock and we arrived back somewhere around 5 o'clock. And we made 250 kilometers, very beautiful roads, curvy, it was craziness. But the last few, I don't know, 30, 40, 60 kilometers, it was all. Mm. Just curves, curves, curves. It was too much. Yeah. Yes, but it was a great day. Tomorrow we stay here. It will be very bad weather with rain and you know, no. But it's okay because we want to rest a little bit. A we little are bit. very tired. Yes, to can't sleep in the morning, uh -huh. not to wake up at six o'clock <laughs> and five. five. <laughs>
morning guys we are at day seven here in corsica in calvi and today we leave this place and we are going south to ayacho we make a 250 kilometers route today the weather is very nice we have 15 degrees and let's hit the road again on the beautiful coastline at the D81 road. The day before we took advantage of the window of good weather in the morning and we went for a walk through Calvi. We passed through the port after that we walked through the streets of the old center and then we went up to the citadel. have in front of us this beautiful view with these imposing mountains. A few days ago was more snow on top of them. We stopped here to eat something for breakfast with this view. guys look here this is the d81 road and in a few kilometers we arrive to the coast here on corsica you have to be very careful at goats pigs and some cows look here guys they are a lot hey from where are you coming guys go home From this road we came down yesterday when we made the Ruda Canyon. That was the D12524 D124. And this is the D81. Now we are in Porto and we are going down to the beach to see again the sea. 
Maybe we make just a one kilometer detour. One hot chocolate. We left Porto and we are going towards Piana. Again on the coast road on the D81. Today is Sunday and it's a little bit more crowded than normally, but it's a very nice area. This road is for the second and the third gear, just a little bit. The second gear rules 40-50 per hour. We turn the left from the D81 road to the D70 and now we are going along this road about 12 kilometers and after that we turn right on the D23 road and I guess that brings us straight in the middle of the mountains. Wow, 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 what a view! Now we turn right on the D423. The road 
turned into the D1 road. It's a smaller and a narrowest. And we have this nice scenery. Everything is green. This D1 road is the most curviest road in, in whole this area. We can barely go with the second gear at 30, maybe sometimes 40 per hour. It's from one curve to other. And the weather is very good outside. Now we have 22 degrees. After we took over the river, the road is quite bad, full with potholes. Look guys, there, in that car, there are three dogs in the back. It's a they see a gun. How nice they are. A tour in the neighborhood. We are back on the D81 coastline road. We arrived at Camping Les Mimosas in Ayajo on a crazy wind and we struggled with the tent until we managed to anchor it. We are making some pastas and some rice. We will mix it together and we make a proper meal. Because we are hungry! Okay guys, that was for today. We end this video here in our tent. We have heating. Thank we you, have Dad. electricity. <laughs> it's very it's very good here now the temperature. I don't know how but many degrees. Outside it's cold. Outside it will be this night uh, I think seven degrees. That's not a much. Mm. Today it was a beautiful day, somewhere around two hundred kilometers. Very nice scenery on that D81 road and some nice roads in the mountain. Very, very nice day. We are lucky with the weather. It's very nice. The wind stopped, so okay. everything is fine. Good okay. night and see us tomorrow morning when we go to Bonifacio. Good, Good morning. morning. From Corsica, we are now in Ayaccio. It's day eight and now we leave for Bonifacio we have a route somewhere around 230 kilometers we will make some detours 
we don't want to go straight down south. It was a very nice camping here. I guess it's called Mimosa. And we will pay... 25 euro. Yes, 25 euro per night. We had electricity. We had a nice spot here. It was everything fine. Yesterday a bit the wind blowed a bit too much. But now everything is fine. It's clear. Mm. The sky, it's sun, it's hot. Now we go to pay to make our checkout and then we go straight south to Bonifacio. Let's go. Let's go. Stay with us, guys. Ten liters, twenty euro. Very cheap here. Very cheap here. The life. Mm -hmm. We have a very crowded departure from the Ayacho city. On the first stretch of the road, we are going along the T20 main road with very nice landscapes, views. what we call mountains. Look here. right on a smaller road towards Gisoni on the D69 road. Also very nice quality asphalt, nice landscapes and we have a nice weather. And we are at the Boca di Sorba pass at 1300 meters and we put here our stickers.
Uh, we stopped a little bit because it's oh, it's a very long day. We have made until now 110 kilometers and we have oh, another 120. Another maybe four hours. We are going very slowly, only 30, 40 per hour, but very, very nice roads. Who likes these curvy roads, it's paradise. Behind our Transalp is another world, out of this world. Hundred and twenty road started with a brand new asphalt. We have a very nice curvy road, new everything, it's perfect. We changed a bit our route, we took the D20 road because the initial route now we see that it's raining, it's a heavy rain, everything is dark. The mountains disappeared in the rain. The total kilometers are the same, just a little bit the direction. Uh, it's on the right side now, not on the left. We escaped from that. Two nights with tent. Sprechen Sie Deutsch vielleicht? Ein bisschen. Ein bisschen, ja. Zwei, zwei Nächte. Kein Problem. Mit äh, kleinem Zelt, ein Motorrad, Kein zwei Problem. Personen. Wir, wir können finden einen Platz mit äh, Strom. Äh, alle Plätze haben Strom. Ah, also okay. jeder ist. Okay, äh, okay. Kann ich bitte die Ausweis von einer Person reichen? Ja. ja. Mhm. Dankeschön. We arrived now here near Bonifacio at around 3 kilometers and we have this spot here in the camping named Camping de Iles. We will stay here two nights and when we leave we pay 60 euro and we have internet for two days and electricity for two days. That means 5 euro per electricity per day and almost 5 euro internet per day this camping is big it's a lot of i don't know two three hundred meters over there this is the this is the map we will make our tent now and after we take a shower and we make something to eat you have a nice day oh, no wind it's perfect We are making dinner, pasta and rice 
Again. The cheapest yes. option here is under two euro. Okay guys, good morning. Day 9 here on Corsica, we are in Bonifacio and I have to cover my bike because the rain comes now. Maybe 2 or 3 hours. We hope to be everything fine. We entered the tent, the rain started already. We hope to be something light. I make now a tea. We have here our electric heater, it's everything fine. And we wait to stop the rain. Hello. Hello. Maybe we have our breakfast. Which number? Uh, eight. What, what was We have uh, two croissant and two pain chocolate. Yes, sir. Do you prefer to pay now or after? If it's possible now, I can yeah. pay now, it's not uh, a problem. For you, for we have croissant and we have chocolate. The rain stopped a bit now for maybe one hour or two hours and after that it will come again unfortunately. We close our house and we are going to Bonifacio, to the old town. Let's go! The only affordable food for us is pizza slices and donuts a little donuts life in Corsica is expensive not for everyone not for us <laughs> Here is the port of Bonifacio, if you come or go to Sardinia. We are going to take some shots with the drone. The storm is coming.
over there is Sardinia. And we arrived home. Honey, I'm home. I make dinner and someone is working. I'm posting on Facebook, Insta reels and photos. So that was for today guys. Day 9 we end here. Tomorrow we go up north. We will leave Bonifacio and we go near Bastia. There we have booked a room because in the next day we must to catch the ferry at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. So at 7 o'clock we must be there. Yes. And tomorrow it will be a quite okay day somewhere around 200 kilometers good morning guys welcome back here on the channel on Transalp Explorers we are still in Corsica in Bonifacio today it's then 10 and we leave now for Bastia we go north uh, from here we go now to Porto Vecchio to take something to eat and to drink and after that we make a small detour, 40 kilometers in the mountains and after that we come back to the coast road and go up to Bastia. It will be a 200 kilometers route. The weather seems to be very nice today, so stay with us. We left Bastia behind and now we go along the T10 road towards Porto Vecchio. to take our breakfast. Our first breakfast here in Porto Vecchio. Very nice, very good. Very nice weather. Everything fine. And now here we turn left on the D368 road and we are going towards Zonza in the mountains. stopped here somewhere on top we are now at uh, D369 road and we have this beautiful view in front of us we see the sea and the landscape it's very very nice it's quite cold we must go
stopped here at this lake somewhere up uh, Lake di Ospedale We rise up the drone to take some shots We finish at the lake. What a nice area and very nice road, this D368 and the, the whole area and these trees here and the landscapes and everything and the lake, very very nice. Look there guys, you see that stones on the right place, on the right side, wow. We stop in this amazing view. And from some point we took the D268 road that goes down to the sea, back to the T10 road. A beautiful road with very nice scenery. As we go down the temperature increase back from 9 degrees, somewhere around 16, 17 degrees. That is quite okay because up there in the mountains was quite cold. Let's take a break at the beach. We arrived here at our accommodation near Bastia and we are waiting for the owner to come here to can make our check-in because it's only 4 o'clock and now it's 3.30 so we must wait half an hour but it's not a problem because we are rest a bit.
We are making dinner. Some ham, jambon, rice, pasta, and mix it together. The cheapest food here. Okay, let's eat. This is our room. And we are ready to go and to see the beach and the sea. That was our trip to Corsica. We have now 10 days since we left Tarad, Romania. That means that we have 7 days here on Corsica. And we see us tomorrow morning on the ferry. Go to Livorno. And this is our last morning view here in Corsica, day 11, and we are going to catch the ferry. Now it's 7 o'clock. Wow, the greatest way to start the day. What a view. Very nice. I have to show the tickets. Bonjour. La moto au milieu. Au milieu. Au milieu. Thank you, merci. And we are ready to go on the ferry. A big one. We are already lost here. It's more bigger than the other one. We found here this place. We go something to eat. I have here power, electricity. And this is our breakfast. And we left for Rome, Bastia. Don't waste the time, 
when we go off the ferry, we take now the dinner. <laughs> Not the dinner, what is now? The lunch. Because we have a long way to do today. We left the ferry. It was way harder now. Back to Livorno, it was bigger the ferry, and it was very hard to to came out from there. We have to find the gas station to fill up our Transalp and to hit the road again to Cremona. I put for 20 euro because we have to do today 250 kilometers to Cremona. Dennis, thank you Dennis for having us for one night. On our way to Cremona, we want to go through Chisa Pass. It's a 1000 meter pass and until there we have from here 100 kilometers. Here we have a Miami Beach Street. Very interesting. After, I guess, around 30 kilometers going along this coastline here, this Miami Beach road, finally we leave it here and go towards the mountains. crossing now Aula and from here we are going up to the Chisa Pass on the SS62 road. Look here, these workers, these climbers, they are working on the wall. They are making stronger. Now, actually, here starts the Chisa Pass and we have some really nice curvy road. The weather is still good, but it's very nice for us. We hope to be so all day. sticker on the Chisa Pass, 1040 meters. In memoriam.
for Marco Simoncelli. We start uh, to descend from the Chisa Pass and we are going towards Cremona. We have 100 kilometers. I will present you day 12 from our Corsica trip, April 2023. The problem is that when we lived from Denis, from Italia, from Cremona to Austria, to Ludwig House, to our accommodation, in that night I had made a time lapse with a GoPro, and normally after that I had to download all the footage from my GoPro in the laptop. But unfortunately, I made an error and I downloaded only the photos without video. So all the footage from the day 12, it's lost. In this episode, I will show you only from the pictures and I have some footage that I made with this GH5 Panasonic camera and I have some sound recordings from my Rode Wireless Go I hope you will like it, it will be something shorter, that's it, it happens sometimes. We let Dennis to go to work and now we left for Lago di Garda, we have until there 100 kilometers. We are now at the left side of the Lago di Garda at the SS45 bis road. And we have very nice landscapes, a lot of tunnels. And we started to climb up the Strada della Fora. A very narrow road and quite steep in some points. Very nice views. A lot of small tunnels. And we have 5 kilometers to the top. Look guys at this view. Amazing. Let's go. We have a long route today. 350 kilometers. Exactly. Don't waste the time. Come on, come on. We stopped for a little break here at this spar. We are now very close to the border to Austria. We have crossed now the border between Italy and Austria. And from here we have 140 kilometers for our accommodation. Now we are going towards Innsbruck. The weather is very nice, sunny, a little bit cold, around 10 degrees here on the valley. We have only 20 kilometers and we arrive in Innsbruck. And look here guys, what a view we have in front of us. What a landscape with those mountains covered in snow. It's just wow. Wow and wow and again wow.
we have such a nice weather one hour ago in the mountains we had nine degrees and now after we left Innsbruck we have 20 degrees very warm outside a lot of people are in t-shirts we had to turn the left now on the road 165 and we start now climbing we have to go over this hill somewhere on top where we already see some snowed mountain peaks i guess we climb at a very nice altitude and here on the right side we can see the slopes today we have done a lot of climbing uphill and downhill on some nice beautiful mountain roads i think our accommodation it will be somewhere down in the valley and we arrived at our accommodation in austria at ludwig house from neukirchen um I don't know, Grossweindirchenlernerstelle, something. It is very close to Grossglockner. It's a very nice location. Yes. If you have way to ride in that area, you have go there. We paid uh, 65, 65 euro per night. It's a very nice uh, location, accommodation. The whole area, it's beautiful. You are in the heart of the Alps of Austria. Beautiful that's all that i managed to make from our footage our uh, audio recordings there's some photos that we have from that day for us it's enough because we have some memories yeah. that's okay good morning guys day uh day i think 13. exactly and we leave this beautiful area of tirol and we are going to hungary to nachpanija there we booked our cheap accommodation, 30 euro or 32 euro per night because it will be two days of hard riding, somewhere around 500 kilometers per day. So we have to rest and to take a shower. We cannot stay on camping. We are too tired. This was our accommodation for tonight. Very nice place, Ludwig House here in Kirchenheim, Austria, Tirol. And this is the view. Stay with us, stay with us guys because we have to find something to eat for breakfast, a spar. So let's go. Let's go. We had found our bakery sooner as we thought. Only 200 meters from our accommodation. We have here this beauty. Hello, Tomogen. This is a fancy bakery. 10 euro 60 for one like this, one pretzel, hot chocolate and cappuccino. in the Zelamse area where the high alpine road the Grossglockner starts obviously now it's full with snow and it's closed but it's the one it's the one of the greatest passes from Austria and one of the expensives it's 28 euro for motorcycles but this area is really lovely amazing places
in Radstadt, here in Austria, we fill up the Transalp. Here the gas is 1 euro 65 instead of 2 euro that was in Corsica and 1.8, 1.9 in Italy. We have still 370 kilometers for today. It will be again a very long day. We are now in Auburn town, it's like a ski resort, mountain, road, I don't know exactly, but it's very nice and we have a lot of snow in the side road, look here guys, and we are surrounded with snowy mountains everywhere with this beautiful weather. Wow, look here guys, here in Overtown, the ski season it's not over and we are now in 23 or something like this, April. Wow, very crowded here in, in Overtown. Look over there, a lot of people are skiing. What a beautiful place. And we are lucky to catch this weather, look here. Another stop here in Spar, buy something to eat, and we have still 300 kilometers to Hungary. So, Jesus. Pass. We have nice snow here, 10 degrees. Great weather. We 
made another stop this time at Hofer again to eat we have still 150 kilometers to Hungary to our accommodation it's harder and harder but it's okay very nice weather that's important everything is fine and we left now Austria and we enter to Slovenia only a few kilometers and after that we go to Hungary but as you can see Slovenia have some nice gravel road it's okay only a few meters we stopped here at the first gas station in Slovenia because we want to drink something to rest a bit and to fill up our transal here the price of one liter of gas is only one euro and 40 cents okay. cents <laughs> and in austria it's 165 italy 185 and corsica too here after only five kilometers after we entered in slovenia it happened a car accident only a few probably seconds minutes in front of us the cars look quite bad but the people seems to be okay from Slovenia to Hungary and from here we have 40 kilometers and we arrive to our accommodation in Ačkaniza our sticker seems to be on the Slovenian border plate We arrived at our accommodation here in Hungary, in Nagykanizsa, at Hercules Penzio. Here we paid 30 euro per night and tomorrow morning we leave to Arad, Romania. We have somewhere around 420 kilometers maybe. We see us in the next episode or maybe in this episode we will end the entire trip. So that was guys our okay. trip. And we made in 14 days. 4500 kilometers and we paid for 12 nights 440 euro for gas 280 euro for the ferry boat uh, 255 euro and insurance for us 55 euro one night we stayed in Cremona at Danny's house and his family. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything and for the help, for information, for everything. We end here the entire episode. Thank you guys for watching. We are very tired today. <coughs> we rode almost 420 kilometers or something Stay like this. Stay tuned, we have big plans. Please See subscribe, you. share, like. like everything. And I hope you enjoy our new channel. See you. Bye, bye guys. Bye, bye.